Welcome back to Contractor Growth Network. I'm your host, Mike Kyle. And you might have heard about something called ChatGPT over the course of the past few weeks. It's called ChatGPT. 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 Well, in this video, I'm going to walk through how I believe that ChatGPT will change the way that we market our businesses going forward and how you can use it to market yours. Let's get into it. So starting off here, what is ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence software that basically writes content for you. All you do is you say, hey, I need you to write something on this, and then it then spits out whatever your request is. It's a very cool tool, and it's one of the most further ahead AIs that we've seen, which is why it has all of the buzz right now. Now, what can you actually use this for? Well, you can use it for writing social media captions, writing social media posts, pitching, sales scripts, thank you notes, realistically, anything that has text, ChatGPT can do. Now, this is an artificial intelligence software that is available on both desktop and mobile. I personally like it a bit more on desktop and the URL is openai.com. And the best part about all of this is that it is scary easy to use. Just the other day, I was on a client call with about 25 of our clients and I was walking them through how to use ChatGPT, which we will cover towards the end of this video, and their minds were blown at how easy it was to use. Now, before we actually get into using ChatGPT in this video, I wanna walk through how this actually breaks the mold for marketing, and I wanna start off with my content theory and my content thesis. So I'm of the belief that quantity over quality and speed over everything. If you just look at historically in the sports world right now, over the course of the past five to 10 years, you can see teams really start to articulate this. Specifically, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Golden State Warriors, both of these teams are, are hyper offensive. The Chiefs have four skill players that run sub 4 440s, and the Golden State Warriors can open the game on a 12-0 run by hitting four straight three-pointers. Now, how does this apply to content? Well, if you look at the social media landscape kind of as a whole, everything is becoming about speed, right? We're no longer really producing 10, 20, 15 minute YouTube videos on this channel. Whereas these kinds of videos, they're nice in six minutes. We try and get in and get out. And then also in our own content on social media, I mean, I've been preaching reels now for about the past eight months or so about how big of an opportunity that it is. And the reason why is because you can just produce more content in the exact same amount of time. So that is my overall approach to content. But there's one fatal flaw with content creation as a whole. And that is the biggest problem, and I hear this from our own clients too, is time. It takes time to create. There's a mental energy that's draining with creating content. You have to film, edit, then post. And that is all why I love social media content, specifically, well, specifically what we call micro content, the quick one minute clips that you see on all of our social media channels, the TikTokification, if you would, of content. And when I was using ChatGBT for the first time, I felt a switch flip in my head. So I wanna share a quick story with you. I was early on YouTube in 2006. I was early on Twitter in 2008. And I was early on TikTok in 2018. The exact same warm, bubbly, fuzzy feelings that I had during all three of those, I have right now with ChatGBT. So this is how ChatGBT breaks the system when it comes to marketing which is it eliminates the barrier to entry entirely. All you need to do is type in thoughts, incomplete thoughts even, and it will create content for you, which means the creation time is gone. It's no longer, oh, I need to spend an hour brainstorming content, or oh, I need to sit at my computer for 30 minutes trying to think of what to caption this Facebook post. It's gone, which is really great for you but it's also really scary as well because this is a free software, which means that your competitors who have never used social media now have access to creating incredible content, which then circles back to my original content theory, quantity over quality, because the quality, so to speak, is almost exactly the same. So if I'm able to create awesome content, but my competitor is also able to create awesome content, the amount that we create becomes the actual game itself. 
So now that I've given the lay of the land regarding ChatGPT, let's actually make content using it. Okay, so we are here at ChatGPT, and all you're gonna do is go to openai.com. At the very top of the screen, it's gonna say try, click that, sign up for your account, and this is the screen that it's going to take you to. But there's actually something, but before we even start, that I wanna get out of the way, which is if you intend on creating blogs using ChatGPT, that's fine, you can do it. However, Google does detect whether a blog is AI generated or not, and that impacts your SEO. So there are ways around it if you wanna create the blog and then send it out in an email or a social media post, that's probably your best method to actually produce it and publish it, as opposed to putting it directly on your website where it can hurt your SEO. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. So what we're going to do here is you need to have a list of information in your head depending on what the post is. So the first post that we're gonna create is nice and easy, and it's gonna be a social media post for a new kitchen renovation that we just did. So all I'm going to do in ChatGPT is type, write a social media post about a kitchen remodel we just completed. So after that, I'm gonna go shift enter to just create some bullet points and I'm going to actually feed it some quick facts about the project and you can see how simple this actually is. So the uh, company was Cavalier Construction. The uh, uh, homeowner's names was the Smith family. What were the, some of the issues in their kitchen? Well, too small to host parties, limited storage space, Collars were outdated. So a really great way to really think about this is think of what you did for the project or what were the pain points that your customer had, which is all things that you know going into the project or after the project that you can then turn into content. So we have our bullet points here, we have our information, we know what we're writing, we're writing a social media post, and all I'm gonna do is hit enter, and we're just gonna sit back, and this is the fun part. So da da da, it's typing out. We just finished a stunning kitchen remodel for the Smith family with Cavalier Construction. Their old kitchen was too small to host parties and had limited storage space, but now it's the perfect space for entertaining. The new layout and updated color scheme has completely transformed the room. The Smith family is loving their new kitchen and we couldn't be happier with the results. And that gives them some hashtags. And so if you don't like anything, if there's something in particular that you don't like in this caption, all you need to say is this. I write cool just to give it some validation. Now, don't use hashtags. So that is one very quick example for ChatGPT and how to use it. And if you want templatized versions of this, they will be linked down below in the description. And we have a ton of different stuff there for you. It goes from simple captions to more advanced ones. And again, all that depends on what you're actually putting into ChatGPT. So now we got our post without, or without hashtags, copy, paste, put it in your post, throw in our picture, and you're good to go. Next, let's do another one here. And I want to do an estimate. You know, we're actually gonna send out a proposal email to a client, let's say. So we're gonna go write a proposal for a backyard renovation for the Kyle family. And this is what we're gonna do. Uh, in that backyard, we're going to go with a uh, new stone walkway. Let's do a large patio, fireplace center, uh, center point. I uh, will do focal point. Uh, let's go with a surrounding water feature. Let's do a pergola. All right, so here's what we got. We got, Dear Kyle family, we are excited to present to you a proposal for a backyard renovation that will transform your outdoor space into a beautiful and functional oasis. Our plan is to include the installation of a new stone walkway that will lead into a large patio area, perfect for entertaining and relaxing. The patio will be centered around a fireplace, creating a cozy and inviting focal point for even cooler evenings. 
To add a touch of tranquility and beauty to the space, we propose the inclusion of a surrounding water feature. This could be a small pond or stream, depending on your preference. Finally, we suggest adding a pergola over the patio to provide shade and a sense of enclosure. This will make the space even more comfortable and inviting. We believe these updates will greatly enhance the enjoyment and value of your home. Thank you for considering our proposal. Sincerely, your name. So we can just go into this, and we're going to do a few different things here. I'm very curious if this will work the way that I want it to. Uh, replace, I'm going to put this in quotes just so it knows directly what to do. Your name with Mike Kyle, Cavalier Construction. And then also um, include the budget, or include the cost of, of $110,000. So now that we have the new version, this is what was added. The total cost of these updates will be $110,000. Um, and then sincerely, Mike Kyle Cavalier Construction. And just like that, we're good. Copy, paste, send out that proposal. One of my favorite things to use ChatGPT for is actually creating content lists. This is a thing that I see contractors struggle with all the time. They never know what to actually post or they struggle coming up with ideas, going back to the idea that creating content uses a pretty good amount of mental strength and energy. So what we can do to navigate this is just go to ChatGPT and write, um, I need 10 video content ideas for my backyard renovation. So now we have 10 new ideas, a before and after video, a tour of the new backyard, uh, create a t you can do a tutorial and like a walkthrough on how you build fire pits, uh, a video for how you install your water features, how do you build a raised garden bed, how do you create a new outdoor uh, kitchen or what your design process is, uh, how do you install outdoor lighting. So you can see it creates this list, but we all know you're gonna need more than 10 videos throughout the year. Cool. Can you give me 10 more? And that's gonna run through it again. And you're going to get content ideas over and over and over again. And all you need to do is work down the list because it's giving you the answers to the test already. So those are some different types of content that you can create with ChatGPT. But I wanna leave you with this. Earlier I talked about the idea that you and your competitors are now at an even playing field when it comes to creating content fast using this software. But now the skill set is how can you put in the right information to create the best content? And that is where if you spend two hours with this, you can figure that out. And especially if you use the templates linked down below that gives you the advanced versions of what kind of information to input into this, that's how you're going to create the best results. Okay, so now that you have your social media content ideas as well as your social media captions, you're gonna need to learn how to create videos as well, and for that, click this video right here.